change. Appreciate that low spin shout out to our production team for a great job of moving this. up one round to none, just based on forward pressure and landing more significant strikes. Kim was able to get that takedown though at the end of the round. Sometimes judges really focus on takedowns and give them a lot of weight, so we won't count our chickens. Traditionally, you look at damage first. Right. Um, and I like that. Uh, for the most part. 
Yeah, I think that's fair because you never really want to try to climb it ahead of the judges because we've been surprised before. To say the least. job here. This is a true striker versus grappler contest here at Flashbacks from the old days. Oh, she's going to get bridged over. But let's see what she has on her back. She's got a, a triangle. Oh, no, I thought she had a triangle set up in the long track. But no. She's still in this kind of bench at that position. She could potentially put out a butterfly hook with her kick with her left. She's got a head and arm chunk from the bottom here. She can just shove her over. Switch to overpower if she wants anything. They get a call. A lot of the time to figure things out. She's got the shoulder trap, so this is pretty good. Look for this left leg to kind of over the head. She really, yeah, she really needs to get her hips out. She's running up against the cage. And it is possible. She's going to have to look for it. She's looking to maybe pull her shit over for her time. And then it's everything. on bottom and had some decent setups but couldn't really get anything solid. Yeah, I think the mount is actually like an incredibly dominant position. It's very strong, but it's really technical. So if you're like newer to grappling or even have grappled less than five years of dead grappling uh, and haven't spent any time specifically on the mount, it's really hard to maintain it. Especially just holding them out. A lot of these early arena fighters are thinking about striking. And it's, instead of focusing on holding them out, they want to posture up and punch, and that leaves the room open for escapes and reverses. And I think she just got caught off guard. It was a nice, strong bridge from, from Kai, and was never able to really recover from that. Oh, look at the spin out from Kai. Oh, she's just a little 
throw some dough. Both fighters completely gassed here. Right? Referee appearing for more action. Probably too tired to even go for the KO, which is literally right there waiting for it. Flip side of that point, if King had any edge, he should just shoot a side takedown and get it here. That's a nice attempt. Oh, big uppercut. Something went flying. Oh, a nice left hand lands. Here comes a right hand down the middle. Credit to the heart of Kim, though, for having a tough. Yeah. Eating some big shots and refusing to go down. And still working for takedowns, too. I feel like the trips are there for her. She's been looking for more body lock style takedown, but if she could throw a trip there, I think she could get it. Ten seconds left. That could have been a new for us. Yeah, I've got to, the tie's going to look to finish here on a, on a high note, or perhaps not. We're going to be content with coming away with a decision, but we got to imagine three rounds to none. Tasha Pye's going to prove the 1-0 Ellen Kim and fall to 0-1. Good experience with the 